Hello guys, in today's tutorial we're going to make a weapon pickup and and to start that I'm just going to press Ctrl Shift N to create a new game object and name it weapon pickup and what this uh, empty game object will have is a sprite render and we can just put here something just so that we can see it and also it will have a weapon pickup script so weapon pickup script Create an ad and let's program that script right now. So this weapon script basically the way this, that this work is it will rotate between weapons. So it will make a so every two seconds or so we want him to change weapon if there's no weapon there. So let's start programming it. First off we have to put here some weapons. Game object. So make an array of web of game objects. Weapons. And we'll put the weapons there. And the current weapon here will be the public game object weapon here. And in the start, we want to make a, a random stuff. Weapon here will be equal to weapons and we are accessing that array and we want this to be between random dot range. Uh, zero and the maximum length of that array so weapons dot length and this will give this game object a weapon and we also want to show this weapon to the player so just put here get component sprite render dot sprite and make it equal to the sprite that this weapon holds and weapon here and we want to access the sprite render so get component sprite renderer and make it equal to the sprite of the weapon so let's fill this weapons array with these two weapons and if I hit play there should appear one of those weapons in there so we it can appear the bazooka or the furball if you have lucky right now as you can see furball and so to catch them we, have, we need a, a trigger so let's put here box collider 2d and make it like so okay something like that and anyways what you want to do is whenever a player triggers it when the player to have to get this weapon so let's make that here on trigger enter to the collider to the other first we check if it's the players if other dot tag equals player then uh, what I'm to do is to actually execute a function that we haven't ex that we haven't made yet and we'll do it in the weapon manager so here on the bottom I'm going to put here public void update weapon and this will change the weapon whenever the player enters that trigger so for now it will be just this to execute this function through here all you have to do is to make other dot transform dot find and you want to find the child with the name weapon slot so weapon slot and want to get a component weapon manager and we want to execute the function update weapon and what will be the weapon that we want to, to put there it will be the weapon that we just got which is the weapon that it is on this pickup save and now here in the weapon manager let's actually make this function and I forgot to put here game object new weapon so that we can change the weapon and what do we want to do here well we want to restart all of the functions that we started here so first off I want the active weapon to be equal to the new weapon so put that there And I want to reset the 
the weapon script so just copy this into there and also I want to change the sprite which I have the new sprite so like so copy just the start into here and we should be fine let's see if this is working so we have to for this to work right now we have to have the, the furball over here so we have the bazooka equipped and if I go if I throw this and if I go into the furball oops I forgot to make it a trigger instead of a collider anyways if I go into the furball you'll see that now I throw furballs and that's pretty cool uh, but this is not the end of this tutorial now I also want to make this weapon refresh so whenever the player catch it, catches it it will wait some, some seconds and after that time passes it will put there a new random weapon first off when the player catches it I want to, uh, to make a, a variable called cot so bool cot here we'll put cot be equal to true and if cot is true I want to make here a timer uh, or you could actually use coroutines again but I'm going to use a timer a timer so anyways public float cooldown which will be the time without weapon and let's make it to float and a float counter and that's all we need now if cot then I want that counter to go up and up so counter plus equals time dot delta time and that's basically the time that is passing and then we check if the counter is greater than or equal to the CD cooldown and if it is then we want to make this all over again put some curly brackets and copy that into there and that should be good so save and if I hit play you'll see that as soon as I get the weapon I've equipped that weapon and after two seconds oops something's happening but as you can see we are almost there so I forgot to put here the counter back to zero so that we can start counting it again and we have also to put here the cut be equal to false again okay now it will work fine or not so I'm going to do bazooka and I catch it although I had already a bazooka and after two seconds as you can see it changes the weapon yeah. and that's exactly what we wanted the only thing that's left to do in this tutorial is to make the sprite render be disappear whenever no weapon is there so just put here the get components sprite render dot sprites and make it equal to null like so and we're done for today so right now if I go into the furball you will see that after I catch it it becomes null and then it's able we are able to catch it again and as you can see it's all working very well anyways that's it for today guys I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and see you in the next one